2001 Protection 1400, Ward Burton and Jerry Nadeau rub together, spinning Burton into the wall. Burton walks on the track and gives Nadeau a parting shot. Danica Patrick makes the list that she inspired after getting bumped by Dan Weldon. Patrick let him hear about it after the race. I don't know if he's mad, of, you know, that I passed him at Indy and he got passed by five more cars or something. She's just feisty. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on her, like I say, because she's not won a race and, you know, her teammates are. So I think in a situation like that, sometimes you get desperate. It's J.C. France in the 59, and we have Chris Bingham, Bingham. in the 40. Oh, he's mad. He's Bingham. really mad. Obviously, some serious disagreement as to what went on on the racetrack there. This is not <laughs> This is not what the series needs, nor either one of these drivers. But I knew it was coming. In 2001, Jay Souter reignited an earlier altercation when he sent Greg Biffle into the wall. The crash pushed Biffle over the edge, and he retaliated with a huge right hand while Souter was still in the car. Tracy makes another mistake. Watch Drives this. right Watch at this. Oh, no. That has to be the dumbest thing I've seen Paul Tracy do for oh. years. That is the dumbest thing I've seen. One of the most dangerous things I've seen. I can't believe he did that. Tag wants him. Tag wants a piece of Tracy. How is he going to explain his way out of this? Two Canadian nationals. Gamgar officials on pit road. Okay. Fista Cups break out behind the wall. After a controversial Billy Boat win in 97, Ari Leyendijk's complaints were not received well by owner A.J. Foyt. I don't know what he was writing hell about. I mean, it's just one of them deals. It happens in racing and all sports. Tony Stewart knows how to get under the skin of just about every NASCAR driver. But when he sent Casey Kane flying into the wall, it triggered a full-scale brawl between both racers' crews. Alicio Salazar and Nelson Piquet at the 1982 German Grand Prix. After Piquet bumped the Chilean driver, taking both out of the race, Salazar was fuming, but his retaliation was a little less than impressive. During the Glass City 200 ARCA race, Michael Simcoe thinks Don St. Denis caused the crash between the two drivers. So Simcoe responds by kicking St. Denis' windshield, then throwing his helmet at the car. Not stopping there, he tries pulling St. Denis out of the car. Finally, Simcoe is ushered away. Then St. Denis gets out and goes after Simcoe. The fight was eventually broken up. Out of turn two, Donnie Allison in first. Where will Kale make his move? He comes from the inside. Donnie Allison throws the block. Kale hits him. He slides. Donnie Allison slides. They get again. They drive into the turn. They're hitting the wall. They're head on the wall. Kale Yarbrough and Donnie Allison took each other out of the final lap of the 1979 Daytona 500 handing the title to Richard Petty. Yarbrough and Allison fought in the infield in the first Daytona 500 on live television. 